a very good morning class 6 today i am going to start a new chapter chapter 8 unitary method okay so first exercise 8.1 so in book okay in first question one table is given where the values and the quantities are given so first question is the value of three pin set is given 180 that means the cost of three pin is 180 okay then we need to find the cost of one pin then what is the value of one pin so if three pins cost 180 then one pins cost 180 divided by three three ones are three three six are 18 60 rupees that means the cost of one pin or the value of one pin is rupees 60 now you have to find the value of five pins set if the cost of one pin is 60 rupees then what is the value of five pins so to find the value of five pin you have to multiply the cost of one pin by five pins so answer is five six are 30 so 300 so the value of five pins is rupees 300 this is first answer now number two is value of 5 kg floor is given 165 that means the cost of okay the price of 5 kg floor is 165 then we will find the price of 1 kg floor then what is the value what is the cost of 1 kg so to find the cost of 1 kg you have to divide this total value by this 5 okay so 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15, 5 threes are 15. That means the value of 1 kg floor is rupees 300, rupees 33. Then the question is quantity of floor whose value is rupees 396. So in this cost, okay, rupees 396, how many kgs you can buy, okay? So this is the total cost 396. If the cost of 1 kg is 33 rupees, then how many, like what is the quantity of floor which we can buy, okay, at this price 396. So to find that, you have to divide this total cost by the cost of 1 kg floor. Now we will divide it. 3 are 33. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. 3 twos are 6. So 11 ones are 11. 11 ones are 11. 11 twos are 12. That means we can buy 12 kg floor. Okay. With this money rupees 396. Next is value of 15 meter ribbon. Means uh, cost okay the price of 15 meter ribbon is 105 then we will find for 1 meter okay what is the cost of ribbon so to find for 1 meter you have to divide this total cost by this 15 now we will cancel 5 threes are 15 5 twos are 10 5 ones are 5 3 ones are 3 3 sevens are 21 so rupees 7 that means the value of 1 meter ribbon is rupees 7 so to buy 1 meter ribbon we need rupees 7 now we have to find what is the cost for 8 meter ribbon so to buy 8 meter ribbon okay how much money we need for that you have to multiply this 7 by this 8 so 7 8s are 56 so we need 56 rupees to buy 8 meter ribbon. Now number 4 is value of 2 dozen egg. In 2 dozen there are 24 eggs. 1 dozen means 12. No, 1 dozen is 12. So in 2 dozen there are 24 eggs. So the cost of 24 eggs is rupees 144. So we need 144 rupees to buy 2 dozen egg. So we will find okay the price of 1 egg. To buy one egg, okay, what is the price? What is the price of one egg? So for that, we will divide this 144 by this 24. So we'll cancel here. Two ones are two, two twos are four, two sevens are 14, two twos are four. Then two six are 12. Then two threes are six, two six are 12. Then six ones are six, six six are 36. That means the cost of one egg is rupees six. Okay. Now, if the cost of one egg is rupees six, then we have to find the number of eggs whose value is 276. So, to find the number of egg, we have to divide this total cost by the price of one egg, that is six. Now, two threes are six, two ones are two, two threes are six. 2 8s are 16, 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12, 3 6 are 18. That means we can buy 46 eggs. Okay. So the next question is number 2. 
if the total expenditure of five students who went for a picnic is rupees one thousand. So, the total expenditure is one thousand for five student. Then we will find for one student what is the expenditure. For that, this one thousand will be divided by five. Which is five ones are five, five twos are ten, two hundred. That means the expenditure of one student is two hundred rupees. Okay, now find the total number of students who went for a picnic at the cost of rupees ten thousand. So in this money ten thousand. Okay, how many student can go for picnic? If the expenditure of one student is two hundred rupees, one student need two hundred rupees. Okay, for picnic. Then the total cost is ten thousand rupees. So how many student can go? So this ten thousand rupees will be divided by two hundred because for one student only two hundred is required. So we can cancel this zero zero. Two ones are two. Two fives are ten. Zero. So fifty student can go. Okay. So the cost of fifty student is rupees ten thousand. Now next is a car travels one hundred twenty kilometer in ten liters of petrol. What is its mileage? So to find the mileage, okay, you have to divide. This is called distance, okay. So in ten liters of petrol, okay, a car can travel one twenty kilometer distance. So this one twenty kilometer will be divided by ten liters. So we can cancel this zero zero. This is twelve. So its mileage is twelve kilometer per liter. That means. In one liter petrol, okay, a car can travel twelve kilometer. Now number four is fifty six books weight eight kg. Means if you weight fifty six books, okay, its weight is eight kg. Then we will find the weight of one book. To find the weight of one book, this weight eight kg will be divided by number of book fifty six. Eight ones are eight. Eight sevens are so one by seven kg. That means. The weight of one book is one by seven kg. Now you have to find the weight of ten books. Okay, so ten books weight. The weight of one book is one by seven into ten kg. So one into ten, ten, ten by seven kg. We will write in mixed fraction. Seven ones are seven. Remainder will be three. Seven kg. So the cost of sorry, the weight of ten books is one three by seven kg. Next is number five. Nine hundred eighty-seven bricks are required to build a three-meter high wall. So to build three-meter high wall, these many bricks are required. Nine hundred and eighty-seven. So we will find for one meter. Okay, how many bricks are required? If for three meters these many bricks are required, then for one meter we will find nine hundred eighty-seven divided by three. Now we will cancel here. Three ones are three. Three threes are nine. Three twos are six. Three nines are twenty-seven. So three hundred and twenty-nine bricks are required to build one meter high wall. So we have to find the number of bricks required for five meter high wall. So if for one meter, if three hundred twenty-nine bricks are required, then for five meters, this three hundred twenty-nine will be multiplied by five. So we will multiply. Five nines are forty-five. Five twos are ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One. Five threes are fifteen. Sixteen. So one thousand six hundred forty-five bricks are required to build five meter high wall. Now next exercise is based on percentage. Okay, so here uh, you will learn how to give percentage and you will learn how to remove the percentage. So first is to convert a fraction or decimal into percentage. If a fraction is given or a decimal number is given, then how will you convert those fractions or decimals into? percentage okay for that we have to multiply the given fraction or the decimal numbers by 100 if the question is 2 by 5 you have to find percentage right so to find the percentage of this fraction we will multiply by 100 every time okay so 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 0 so 2 into 20 40 percentage so 2 by 5 is 40 percentage now To convert into uh, percentage, we will multiply by hundred. Then, how to remove the percentage? If percentage is given, how to convert that percentage into fractions or decimal? For that, here we have multiplied by hundred. Now, the opposite of multiplication is division. We will divide the given percentage by hundred. So, thirty-five percentage is thirty-five by 
100 okay so we can cancel here 5 7s are 35 5 2s are 10 0 so 7 divided by 20 now we'll start exercise 8.2 okay so question number 2 is one you have to solve yourself okay number two express the following percentages as fraction so your percentage are given you have to convert this percentage into fraction so to convert the percentage into fraction we have to divide by 100 so cancel this 0 0 answer is 1 divided by 10 here it is 25 so this will be divided by 100 5 fives are 25, 5 twos are 10, 0, 5 ones are 5, 5 fours are 20. So answer is 1 by 4. Next is 75 percentage. So 75 divided by 100. Okay, so again we can cancel. 5 ones are 5, 5 fives are 25, 5 twos are 10, 0. 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20. So answer is 3 divided by 4. Next is number 3. Here fractions are given. You have to convert this fraction into percentage. So to convert into percentage, you have to multiply the given fraction by 100. So you have to multiply here this fraction by 100. Okay. Then you have to write your percentage sign 100. 100 cancel. Answer is 8%. Similarly here 43 by 100 into 100%. So 100, 100 cancel. 43 percent now here it is 99 by 100 into 100 percent so again this is 99 percent so these two questions are based on removing percentage and to give percentage okay now the last question question number four is Raju scored 25 runs out of 50 balls. So out of 50 balls, Raju scored 25 runs. And Ranjit scored 48 runs out of 100 balls. You have to find the percentage of run scored by both and you have to uh, identify. Okay, you have to find out who scored more. Okay, so according to percentage wise. So total balls 50 and runs scored 25. So to find the percentage, okay, Raju scored 25 runs out of 50 balls, no? So we have to find in percentage, so multiply by 100%. 0, 0 cancel, 5 ones are 5, 5 fives are 25. So 5 into 10, 50%. So percentage of run scored is 50%. Now Ranjit scored 48 runs out of 100. So 48 runs out of 100. So we have to convert into percentage so multiply by 100 percent 100 100 cancel 48 percent okay so this is your answer now last question you have to solve yourself now here okay Raju and Ranjit who scored more Raju percentage is 50 percent so you have to write Raju is a better batsman a better batsman